FNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 61, NASDAQ off 156, S&P's off 30. Gold, gold contract down $40, trading at 2,049. Now, gold down $40 wouldn't be bad, folks, okay? But the bottom line is that you traded to 21.52.30 last night, overnight, the overnight session, and it just got smoked, coming all the way down. That type of volatility, folks, uh, I suspect when you see that type of volatility, in the gold market, I suspect uh, we're going to get more volatility in the S&P. That's the bottom line. Now, gold has a high volume high now, uh, but the bottom line is that when you take out all the shots, what you're going to have there is that you're going to build cars before you get to higher price. You got uh, silver down 92 cents, 24.93. Light sweet crude off uh, 89 cents, $73.18 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note is down 16 ticks, trading 110. 05, the 30 is down 19 at 117, 18. Now here's some divergence, okay? They're both down a tremendously lighter volume. And King Dollar. King Dollar is up uh, 433 ticks, trading 103, 700. Euros at 108, yen's at 147, British pounds at 126. Now that being said, what you also have is the SPY has already rejected a lower price out here. So you get, a, you get a lot of movements in here with a lot of different pieces, okay? The, the SPY is only down three bucks. You rejected 454, you're at 456. Now that being said, when you go to the Qs, and the Qs love leading the market, man. The Qs, different ball game. The Qs are into the gap, and you're gonna have an expansion with volume. So the Qs are down 447. The top of this gap is, uh, we're at, uh, what, 385? You're talking about 378, you know? So my take here is that you're gonna slow turn, and number one, the NDX 100 wants to go fill that gap. The real question is going to be, does the S&Ps do the slow turn and come in and also want to fill that gap? Because that's a lot further down. We take a look at the uh, dollar. The dollar, you know, still having a hard time getting any type of traction. Now, the 0 0.382 retracement, however, on the dollar, you know, we're up by 450, 421 today. When you do take a look at that uh, 0 0.382, you're dealing with about a 104, 363. And right now you're at 103, 690. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.